선생님 이해가 안 그래요 지금 이제 엄마 떠나서 그 마음 100% 이해됩니다 반갑습니다 학생 여러분 자 오늘은 다트마트 칼리지 다트마스 칼리지 갑자기 발음이 안돼? 오늘 한국말을 아침에 상담을 너무 많이 해서 다트마스 칼리지를 졸업하고 지금은 메리컬 스쿨에서 의대 공부를 하고 있는 학생 선생님을 모셔다가 우리가 또몇달 전에 우리 멘토링 학생들과 웨비나를 했었지 질의응답 시간 뭐 이런 궁금한 것들 답변하고 뭐 이랬었는데 오늘은 그 비디오의 짧은 요약본 정도 여러분들도 이런 느낌으로 보고 아, 다트마스를 가면은 이렇구나 라는 소개도 듣는 겸 여기는 특이한 백그라운드 그래서 컴퓨터 사이언스로 들어갔다가 컴퓨터 사이언스를 던지고 딴 거를 한 프리메드 과정을 준비를 한 분이기 때문에 우와 이게 또 요즘에 많은 트렌드의 컴사를 컴사 하고 싶다 컴사 컴사 컴공 막 이러는 거에 반대 시나리오잖아 그래도 최근 졸업한 분이니까 따끈따끈하게 한번 관심 있게 보러 봅시다 왜 컴사는 아니었다고 생각하는지 프리메드는 어떤지 자 이런 것들이야 출발 We can begin. Right. Okay. Please introduce yourself. Uh, which college did you attend or did you go to? Yeah, um, so my name is Brian. I went to Dartmouth College for my undergrad. Um, currently, I'm a first year med student at the University of Vermont. Cool. Okay. Now, what did you study in college? Um, so I studied computer science. That was my major. Um, but I also took a lot of sort of like biology courses. And so um, I also did a biology uh, minor as well. Okay, good. Interesting. Uh, Dartmouth, what did you like best about your college? Um, let's see. I think my favorite part was probably um, the small class size. So, like, I think in terms of undergrad total population, there was like maybe four thousand undergrads. So each class was a thousand students. That meant like each individual course, for the most part, had like less than fifty students in it, which is really nice. It was really easy to get to know classmates. Um, talking to professors was really easy because they also didn't, you know, oversee hundreds and hundreds of students. So I think yeah, I think that was my favorite part. I don't know if you know, but what 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 is the biggest um, size of class? Like it can't be all 40, 50 students for all the classes at Dartmouth, right? Is there anything large at all? Yeah. So a lot of the intro classes, so for example, like the intro computer science classes, yeah. those are definitely bigger. So those would have um, up to like a hundred or so students. Um, Only up to hundred or so. That's still small. Yeah, I, that was the biggest class I've, I've seen personally. Was really? around 100 something students. Yeah, I remember I graduated from Cornell back at Cornell uh, Intro to Psychology course. Um, 2,000 students there. So. Oh, <웃음> 자 이제는 학교를 들어가기 위해서 어떤 특별 활동을 했는지, 어떤 활동들을 했고 주로 어떤 걸 포커스를 했는지 이런 얘기를 한번 들어보도록 하자. 들어봐 봐 학생들. These top schools accepted you. In your opinion, what do you think they 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 made their they made their decisions that way? Yeah, that's a good question. I I honestly spent a long time like wondering this myself, and I think like my guess is that even though my GPA wasn't the greatest, like the SAT score I think was really good, which I think schools like. And also, I had um, one specific extracurricular that I really pursued hard, um, which was a violin. So I think a combination of like really passionate violin and a strong SAT score helped me overcome my kind of like not the best GPA. Okay, uh, let's talk about extracurricular activities then. Uh, sure. Please tell us about the best three activities from high school. Best three activities, let's see. So violin was definitely up there. So I did both like solo violin um, as well as a lot of ensemble playing. Um, I think on my application, I listed them as separate activities. So I had like ensemble slash orchestra as an activity and then I had solo violin. Um, and I also did, uh, let's see, what else did I put for my... Activities. I, I did a lot of volunteering at animal shelters in high school as well. Um, so uh, I did a lot of like customer care or uh, customer service stuff, helping people kind of pick out um, potential dog adoptions. Um, I also did some research as well. So I think those three or four were kind of my main, like the volunteering at the animal shelter, yeah. um, doing some research and my violin. What about sports? Did you play any sports? Yeah, I did play baseball for the first two or three years. Um, I wasn't very good. I was. Uh -huh. Not like the most most athletic person, and so I I only played up to junior varsity. Um, okay, but that was definitely a good experience. Good. 
이분은 다크마스로 처음에 들어갈 때는 컴사로 들어갔어 그러다가 이제 적성에 안 맞는 것 같고 하다고 해가지고 이제 정가를 한 거야 이게 컴사를 하다 보니까 는 아, 이게 내가 이러고는 계속 살고 싶지는 않다 해서 이제 더 내가 보람을 느낀 거는 사람들을 돕는 거 고등학교 때 했던 뭐 의료 봉사 했던 거 이런 것들이 있어서 이제 진로를 바꿨다 What makes me happy? 쪽으로 더 갔다 상당히 또 아메리칸 다운 아메리칸 같은 생각이기는 하나 그 당시에 지원을 할 때는 그러면 컴사로 들어가긴 들어갔으니까 인턴십이나 리서치 같은 걸 했는지를 물어봤어요 여러분들 이거 한번 들어보자 You sort of mentioned this a little bit earlier, but did you have any internship or research project uh, that were related to uh, your choice of study prior to applying to colleges? Yeah, um, I did some research um, in computer science in that field. Um, and so it was basically a project about computational HDR, high dynamic range photography. Um, and so I did that starting, I think, my sophomore year. Um, did that for a couple of years and then I presented that at a state fair, like a local or a state science fair. Um, but other than that, I think in terms of research, it was just that that um, research experience, uh, experience. In terms of internships, I did a uh, I did an internship at Boeing, which is like a, they, they create planes uh, for one summer. So the summer after my junior year of high school, mm -hmm. I did a three month long internship at Boeing. What did you write uh, your personal statement about? I think I wrote my personal statement about the violin um, or my, my experience with the violin. It was, I think it was a really good extracurricular to have because I could spin it and like I could spin in the experience in a lot of different ways depending on what the prompt was asking me for. So I could talk about like, oh, the violin helps me express my creative side or I could spin it into like, oh, the violin helped me maintain discipline and practicing, so on and so forth. So there are a lot of different ways that I could incorporate violin into my essays. Um, a lot of the different questions they asked. So I think that was really, really versatile. That main essay wasn't about academic stuff. You ever thought about I, writing something about academic stuff? I don't think I wrote any of my essays about specifically academic or like school. Right. Um, I think I focused really heavily on extracurricular. Right. That makes sense. Wow, this video is 28 다 올릴 수는 없고 우리 컨설팅 하는 학생들은 받기는 받았을 텐데 오늘은 요약본이니까 요 정도 맛보기로 합시다 자 여러분들 공부를 할때 조금 동기부여가 될수 있는 아 이런 느낌적인 느낌이구나 라면 하면서 가끔가다 이렇게 한 달에 한 번씩 올리려고 한다 선생님이 가끔 좀 여름에 바쁘고 일할 때 이렇게 원서 에세이 작업이 많을 때는 한두달 건넜다가 올라오는 적은 있어도 어쨌든 있는 자료는 여러분들과 다 공유를 하려고 노력을 하니까 이쁘게 봐주시고 학생 여러분들도 곧대곧대 매주마다 잘 챙겨가는 게 학점 유지를 잘하는 요령인 거 알지? 선생님 다음 시간에 올게 공부한 거 있으시면 질문 올려주시고 여러분들 파이팅 하십시오 다음에 보자 바이바이